So if you are getting into growing synthetic nutrients, you may have heard of a practice that comes at the end of your uh, grow period, which is called flushing. But what is flushing and what does it do and why do people do it? We're going to answer all those questions in today's video. So buckle up. It's going to be a quick one, but it's going to be good information. So flushing essentially is a practice that starts at the end of a grow period, at the end of the flower stage. Uh, we'll get into more when to start in a moment, but I do want to let you guys know that it is the practice of running plain water or water with certain uh, products that are made to be used in the flushing period and going through and putting a certain amount of water, and we'll talk about that too, how much water should you be putting through your pot, uh, putting a certain amount of water through your pot to get rid of excess nutrients. And supposedly it makes a smoother, cleaner smoke and makes a better, healthier product. And to answer the question, when to start flushing is actually to answer the question, when do I want to start my harvest period? Because when you go into the flush is the day you decide that the plant is ready for harvest. That will be your starting point when the fruit is done. Bye bye everybody. But seriously, the entire purpose of doing a flush is to get the plant to use the rest of its energy, to get rid of the excess nutrients that is inside the pot, and also to begin the harvest stage. The flesh is the start of the harvest, and the curing is the end of the harvest. And everything in between, there is chopping, there is hanging, there is drying, there is trimming. But that all starts with the flesh when you decide to do it, when you're in a synthetic synthetic grow period. Uh, I've heard of organics doing it before, but I am not very sure. I am not uh, familiar with that process. So when you decide to harvest. Now, when do you decide to harvest? When, when do you decide to harvest? If you are a first time grower, you can decide on a lot of different times to harvest. Um, and it can be a little bit overwhelming, but I'm going to give you a good rule of thumb. When you get to the point where your trichomes are approximately 25 to 30% amber is when you're going to want to start the flushing period. If that's going to be your next transition point, once they start turning amber and approximately 30% of the trichomes have turned amber, uh, some of them will still be clear, so don't panic sometimes. They don't mature, but most of them will be milky at that stage. So that is when I recommend, if it is your first row ever and you've never harvested before, that's when I recommend uh, you decide to hit that harvest button and start that flushing period. Now, how much water should you be putting through your pot? Now, you don't need to go insanely ridiculous. I'm going to give you two ways you can do this. One answer you guys will know if you watch Pigeons 420 chant. Pigeons 420's channel, uh, he does three times the water of the capacity of the pot. So if you have a five gallon pot, you do 15 gallons of water. If you have a seven gallon pot, you do 21, 10, 30, so on and so forth. You're going to want to do that for approximately 7 to 14 days, however long you want to do the flush for. I recommend doing it for 7 days. Uh, you're going to do the watering. It's going to be a really heavy watering. You're going to be extremely saturated, but it's going to flush out a lot of the nutrients outside to the outside of the fabric pot. It's going to take care of your problem. And another way you can do it is you can do it the way I do it, which is just going through a seven day period where you do a normal watering where you have, yeah, some runoff, but you're not going through a ton of water like you would with the other method. I just do a normal watering, let the plant use up the nutrients it's going to use, let a lot of it go out through the soil, 
and it works out very nicely and creates clean product. And if you don't want to do a flush, you don't have to. I, I've smoked flush plants. I've smoked non-flush plants. If you're banking on the flush to get you a premium product and you're looking at it at a perspective where if I do this, I feel like it's going to be a waste of time. By all means, don't even do it. I didn't flush on my last go. It's some of the best weed I've ever smoked. Okay, you don't need to flush. But if you're going to, this is a good video on how to do it. If you guys got value out of my video or just plain liked my video, please hit the like button and show YouTube that you guys want to learn about medicinal plants. And if you are new and you want to learn more about cannabis and how to grow it and other cannabis related topics, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate the support. And if you guys want to let me know what you think about flushing, by all means, leave it down in the comment section. I love hearing your guys' input on growing and I love uh, to having conversations with you guys. So by all means, leave those down below. And you can follow me on Twitter. I've been posting there a lot more often at C Express 420 or just look up Cannabis Express 420. I will... I will certainly pop up there. So thank you guys. I appreciate it. See ya.